Welcome back to my channel, guys. Another chapter review of Shoujo Nu. Welcome once again. The conclusion of the fight is in this chapter. So uh, finally, there is a conclusion to what we were seeing. We we left off with Raya defending the Jinjin, the 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 um, robot girl. And uh, the investigator essentially saying, like, get the out of the way or I'm going to kill you. Um, that's, that, that's where we left off. Uh, guys, before I continue, there is 12 manga chapters of this series on my channel. Uh, if you haven't seen them, you're missing out on this series. Pretty good series. Not a lot of people are talking about this series, which is, to me, it's pretty amazing how there can be series out there that people don't talk about that should be talking about it so uh go check it out it is a pretty pretty good series um personally i um i i really really have enjoyed the series up to this point uh, also if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting liking and sharing you guys can follow me on social media and other places so uh by going to the description below that shows uh where you guys can uh, support me there so make sure you're doing that so um okay let's talk about let's talk about this chapter 13 so dude we know that he's a villain from last chapter he goes on saying you know that he he brings up Ria's dad by the way which is a douchebag move he lets him know that essentially like he's just like his dad and he's trying to um defend the weak when he shouldn't even try to defend the weak and um he he's a douchebag to be honest so um he gets mad he definitely gets mad but not just that marie gets mad she starts uh attacking again like at this point we thought that she was down but no she's attacking she goes straight for the arm that has the um the stuff that's gonna attack him so he definitely is he's a little unarmed at this point right um so he she continues attacking as much as possible and she kind of has her personality uh split into two um we get her like both black hair and white hair now if you don't remember watching or you know reading this series she kind of has had two episodes where she loses it and this black hair persona comes out and it's basically like her evil side um or the one that's willing to kill people so she finally decides to kill our our guy and what a what a kill what a kill i will say um I didn't expect him to die in this chapter, to be honest. I expected him to run away almost and uh, keep living. But he dies thinking of Kamaki, the uh, main cop guy, and saying that he felt him and he felt the whole institute and, you know, it's blah, 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 blah. He, he doesn't deserve the, the ending that he wanted, to be honest. So um well just as fast as they kill him the building starts breaking down and they start running away now within the building basically jinjins are still left there but they the building collapse and everyone inside who is left in there uh pretty much dies so when cops show up it's a massacre there's obviously all the dead bodies of jinjins they kill more of them that were left that were, that stayed there they find bodies of the cult that was running in the building and they were doing the, the weird stuff personally good for them for dying because i hate cults especially like those where they like hurt, intentionally hurt other people uh, now obviously a lot of them don't realize that robots are are basically unawakened persons but um still still they they were they weren't going good good things anyway so not a big pity that they died the other thing they find is the body of the their their friend right um so the, the detective has found 
they confirm that he's died. And basically, Kamiki is a little furious, and he's bringing the big guns out. Now, we don't know who these people are. Uh, they're just being introduced, but I guess they're stronger than our previous detective, and they look like they're ruthless. Now, uh, our informer tells R Raya and Marie that they can't live in their house anymore. They have to be on the run, and the only place they can go is to the underground city beneath Tokyo. Uh, and that is the end of chapter... Uh, is it 13 or 14? I believe it's... Oh, it's 14. Sorry, I've been saying 13. Uh, chapter 14. So, uh, chapter 15 released yesterday on a Thursday, which is a little odd, to be honest. So, I will be reading that and reviewing that pretty soon. Um, but, chapter 14 pretty much gave us what we wanted, a conclusion to the fight. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be an instant where... They trapped him, and then they, then they just ran away. Um, honestly, what we got was probably the best result because he did honestly deserve to have his life ended. Um, but at the same time, I felt like they were trying to make him more of a stronger villain um, than what we got. We It seemed like he just ended up being... Very corrupted, more corrupted than we expected, and not as strong as we thought he would be. So, oh well. It is a bummer. It is what it is. Uh, let's see what happens next. I wonder if they're going to be able to find him underground. I feel like there's so much of the underground that we don't know yet. So, hopefully, we get more of those answers in the following chapter as Rhea and Marie escape from an army of cops who are coming to, to defend him. So... Oh, well, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love for comment, liking, and sharing. And I will see you next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.